Hi, I'm Rachel Ellen, the Dysfunctional Diva, and this week's life lesson is the organ recital, or the music of getting old. All right, how many of us are guilty of uh, going down the road of talking about our, oh, our pains and our owies and our this and our that? Uh, do you have friends that go out there and every time you say, oh, I've got a little sinus going on, they go, oh, yeah, but mine's 10 times worse. Really? We're gonna play I Can Top That Pain? How about the pharmacy war? Oh, you're on Wellbutrin XYZ? I have I was on that for so long, I have to be on this heavier dosage now. Really, that's what you wanna be known for? Is the medications that you're taking? and that your medications are more extreme than someone else's? Or that your headache or your sinus or your sciatic or your knees or your shoulder or whatever is more painful than the next person's? You really want to get into that whole throwdown war card on I can top this? That's who you are? Really? Because I don't think so. I think you're something a lot more rosy, more fun, more vibrant than that. I think that's who you were when you were a teenager. I think that's who you were when you were in your 20s. What happened? What made you think that that's what you want to lead with and that's what you want to go to war with and talk on a conversation about? Your pain and your ill? Or as my father calls it, your organ recital? My this, my that, my the other hurts? If you're 45 or 50 or 55, seriously, that's where you are in your life? That's a 75-year-old old person's game where they go in and they talk about their illnesses and their woes and their pain medication. That's not a young person's game. Do you really want to be that? Is that really who you are? It's not who I am. It's not what I want to be around. I don't want to be around friends who all they can talk about is what's ailing them now. That's negative energy that's just pulling people down around you. Have you noticed your friends not calling you? Have you noticed your friends zoning out on the phone call? Hmm, wonder why. What are you talking about? What are you putting out there as your proud achievements? What are you putting out there is the way you live your life? Pain medication? Antidepressants? I mean, we all have it. We all get sick. But why are you sicker than me? Why is that what you want to battle about? Because I have a sneaky suspicion when you get around those people that are telling you about their pains and their woes and their aches and their whatever, you don't want to be around them. You wish they'd stop talking. So why do you go down that path? Pharmacy war. My gosh, that's not where we are. That's where we're going to be in 20, 25, or 30 years. Not today. Let's capitalize on what we have today. We're young, we're vibrant, we're healthy. We all know someone that is battling with a life-threatening illness. So they're staring death down the barrel. That's not us. We're here, we're having fun. Those people who are battling life-threatening illnesses, they deserve our respect. They deserve our ear and our understanding of their illnesses and their aches and their pains and what they're battling. But come on, us. So what our little sciatic hurts? Do more yoga. You're vibrant, you're alive, you're artistic, you're analytical, you're all these wonderful adjectives. Start writing out the adjectives that you are. Put them on your whiteboard in your office. Remember, those are the adjectives that you're living your life about. That's who you are. Become the person you've always wanted to be. Become the person you want your children to be proud of. Live that person every single day. Give yourself a little shot in the arm of happy. Go out and do it because the organ recital will be there when we're 75 and we're 80. And we can all go to it. We can all listen to each other going, oh, my sciatic. Oh, oh my head. 
all of that, my liver, my kidney, whatever it is going to be, it's going to come down the road. Let's not live it today. Let's live something a lot more fun, kind of like um, a youthful life. Yeah. All right, so look in the mirror, figure out who you are, figure out those adjectives of hmm, what you want to be, what you want to portray to the world. Write them on your board and go do it. Just be that person. No one's stopping you. You're an adult. You can be whoever you want to be. Be the person you want to be. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.